On Saturday, January 21st, 2023, at approximately 10.22 p.m., officers from the Monterey, uh, Monterey Park Police Department responded to a business in the 100 block of West Garvey Avenue in the city of Monterey Park regarding a shots fired call. When officers arrived at the location, they observed numerous victims and patrons in the business parking lot. Additional officers made entry into the business and located numerous gunshot victims. Monterey Park Fire Department responded to the scene and started to treat the injured. Uh, there were at least 10 additional victims transported to numerous local hospitals. But I do want to start off with saying that unfortunately, when the fire department did get into the business, they did pronounce 10 of the victims deceased at the scene that I just described. But the 10 additional victims were transported to numerous local hospitals. They are listed in various conditions from stable to critical condition. There is a male suspect that fled the scene and remains outstanding uh, as of this moment. Our very preliminary description uh, has been described as a male Asian, and that's from the scene here in Monterey Park. And so I also want you to know uh, questions that are being asked. Uh, is this related uh, to the other event here uh, in the city of Monterey Park or any concerns about any other Chinese New Year events? Uh, we are working here. You see all the partners behind me. Uh, including the FBI. Uh, we've been doing threat assessments throughout the morning. Uh, are they connected? Uh, honestly, we don't, we don't know the answer to that yet. Uh, it may or may not be. Uh, so as we look at uh, other events, uh, we will make sure uh, that we step up our presence uh, from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Uh, we will be in communication with other law enforcement agencies. We already have been to make sure uh, that security is a top priority at any event, and that's not to indicate that we think there's a threat there. We're just taking every precaution that we can. We don't want anybody else uh, to get hurt. Uh, my concern now is the safety of the city of Monterey Park. My officers are on duty. I brought in extra officers from home to make sure that the community is safe. We will continue to patrol this community and respond to anything that happens here. Uh, we're going to remain very diligent and we hope the community becomes closer partners with us in this and is able to share any information they have with the uh, Sheriff's Homicide Bureau and the City of Monterey Park. Thank you, Chief Lease. And I want to first thank Sheriff Luna, the FBI, the State Emergency Services, and all of the law enforcement agencies who have been working with us for the past few hours uh, investigating this very tragic event. Um, it's difficult to believe that it happened here in Monterey Park. We want to express our condolences to the victims and their families. And moving forward, you know, it is important that we be there for them to provide services and support they need in what will be a time of healing in the next weeks, months, if not years. My thoughts and condolences go to the victims of this horrific crime. I can only imagine the terror, pain, and anxiety that they feel and how devastated the families of those who were killed must feel right now. Um, and I can't even imagine that such a thing would happen in this community. Uh, and I appreciate the FBI coming immediately. President Biden has been apprised of this horrific shooting, and uh, uh, I hope that we can make a determination as to whether this was a hate crime. And on behalf of the entire FBI, our hearts go out to the victims and their families, those that are not going to have their loved ones come home to greet them. The FBI is committed to providing all the resources at our disposal to assist the Sheriff's Department and the Monterey Park Police Department. Uh, and we won't stop until everything, every lead is exhausted and justice prevails. Thank you. We don't know if 
this is specifically a hate crime defined by law, but who walks into a dance hall and guns down 20 people? Um, the description we have now is of a male Asian. Uh, uh, does that matter? I don't know. I can tell you that everything's on the table. Our detectives are looking at every possibility with our partners. Uh, age range, uh, somewhere between the age of 30 and 50. Uh, there is a, a wide range, and those are things that are working uh, diligently with the Alhambra Police Department. Uh, we believe uh, that there's an incident that may be related. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but it's, it's definitely on our radar screen uh, where a, uh, a male Asian suspect um, walked into a, a dance hall, uh, and he walked in there uh, with a firearm. And uh, some individuals uh, wrestled the firearm away from them. And uh, uh, the, that individual uh, took off. Um, now, some witnesses in that area are describing a white cargo van. We don't know, though, at this time, if it is connected. That white van should be considered a van of interest at this point. In regards uh, to the firearm, uh, obviously uh, there were multiple rounds fired at the first location where we have uh, all the victims uh, and survivors. Uh, we don't know how many rounds were fired. Um, uh, different weapons have been described. Uh, in regards to the specific weapon, we don't believe it was an assault rifle at this time, but again, that's part of the investigation that we're looking at, just to, just to make sure, and I don't want to put out bad information. In regards to the 10 deceased victims, uh, my understanding, we have five females and five males. Um, in regards to their specific ages, we have not been able to identify uh, any of them yet. Uh, we will do that with our partners at the coroner's office uh, when the time comes. So we received 911 calls starting at 1022 in the evening. The incident, as you all know, is very close to the police station. Uh, we were just wrapping up the final shutdown of the Lunar New Year event. I had dozens of officers here throughout the day and the evening at the Lunar New Year event. So our response to the scene was within minutes. I don't have the exact time. The initial officers that responded saw dozens of people exiting. Some were injured, some weren't, and we handled them as they came out, began to triage that, and my officers put together a, a REACT team and went inside to see if the suspect was still inside. And from the information preliminarily that we have now, we're talking about seven, between 17 minutes to 20 minutes later, the Alhambra incident occurs. So Monterey Park was first, Alhambra was second, Park, unfortunately, occurred first. Thank you. We're still looking at that. And I would prefer not to put the caliber out at this second, just because it's going to, it may hinder what we're trying to do. And again, remember, our priority is we got to get this guy in custody. And that's exactly what we plan to do. Can you say anything about the weapon that was found at Alhambra? Was that a, a long a rifle? Was that an AR? What, what, what was that? It was not an assault rifle. Thank you. I was in the uh, events yesterday. There were thousands of people. I wonder if there's any safety measures in place before that happened. And, you know, like the screening of the weapon, what were we doing before that happened? Are you speaking about the Lunar New Year event? Yes. Were you, were you there yesterday? Yes. It's thousands so, of people there. Thousands of people. And I had dozens of officers present. Yes. I had officers walking around in plain clothes. I had officers in uniform. I had tactical officers walking around with long guns. Uh, I had drones overhead. Um, I had the perimeter locked down with barriers. We did not screen people for weapons. There was probably over 100,000 people present. So it's impossible to screen everybody for weapons. Yesterday was a safe event, primarily because of the diligence of my officers that were present there. Uh, I can't speak about the event where the crime occurred. Uh, it's a separate incident. It has no relation to the Chinese New Year event earlier in the day.